the merch drop is here and the live show is announced. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Usual Podcast, episode 78. Round of applause. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's so many people in the studio, and it was a it was kind of a mild round of applause, but we're gonna give you some more chances. The merch drop is officially live. You can see it all around us. Round of applause for the merch drop being live. There we go. That's that's what I needed. That's what I needed. <laughs> the merch drop is officially live. Click the link in the description below or go to youshinostudios.com backslash shop. We have so many items. You can see them all around the studio for the audio listeners. You cannot see them, but just go to youshinostudios.com backslash shop. I am so proud of this merch drop. Shout out to the whole team for working so hard on making this happen. And thank you to the Yushino family for making this possible and waiting and being patient. I hope it's worth it. I hope y'all go crazy. A big shout out to the person who made all these very lovely and professional and perfect designs, Naomi. Round of applause for Naomi one time. I love you, Naomi. Damn. Her Instagram is going to be linked in the description below as well. Go show her some love. Flood her comments with some diamonds and tell her thank you for making such a great merch drop. But that's not just all that's happened this week. We got another big announcement. Are you ready? The second live show is announced. The You Should Know podcast is going to New York City, October 28th, Gramercy Theater. Tickets are live right now. Round of applause, please. <laughs> we are going to New York, October 28th at the Gramercy Theater. Tickets are live now. I'm not going to lie. We announced it on our Instagrams this last Wednesday. That's why we tell you every intro to go follow us on Instagram because you're going to get it first. The Quality Club obviously gets it before everybody else. But the tickets are already more than halfway sold out. I think there's about 100 tickets left, and the show's not until October. So if you are even thinking about coming, I would suggest you go to the link in the description right now and go buy a ticket. We cannot wait to see all you guys there. Yes, there is a meet and greet option that will be available to you after you already buy your ticket. So you're going to select your ticket, hit buy, and then in checkout, you can upgrade to a, a meet and greet. We cannot wait to meet all you guys. It's my first time in New York. It's most of our first times in New York. The show is going to be so fun, so amazing. And uh, thank you to everybody for making this possible. We love you. Go get some new merch. Link in the description. You should know studios.com backslash shop and go get some tickets to our New York live show October 28th at the Gramercy Theater. We love you guys so much. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got a co-host, Cam! Yeah, back in the studio! That's your biggest round of applause, pl 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 poop. Ooh. You know what I say? You almost said a bad word. No, that was Pig Latin. No, it was pretty close. It Did you know I? You don't know Pig Latin. I bought Rosetta Stone. But you don't know Pig Latin. You did it's not, not buy a, Rosetta it's, Stone. Yes, I did. When Rosetta Stone was hot, we were like seven. No. Correct. They're still alive. They're still well. They still breathe. I didn't say they don't breathe. I said when it was hot. We can't leave this beautiful <laughs> blanket on that disgusting carpet. But you know why I got Rosetta Stones? Because we're going to New York. Oh, you got the Bronx pack. The Bronx pack. We're not going to be in the Bronx. We're going to be in gonna be Manhattan. Manhattan. But, but it's New York. You know, everybody's going to travel. Cam, welcome welcome back, buddy. I missed you. I love you so much. You got a great grip I love in a more. lot of places. Okay. Well, um, New York, New York. In New York. We'll stop right there. No copyright. But you know who sings the songs? Great song. Um, I've been, you haven't. Not yet. That means I'm cool, you're not. So what you need to know about New York is you need a bus slash train pass. Nope. Okay. Um, you'd need to bring a coat. I don't have a coat. I have yakets. You have to buy a coat and not resemble, or not resemble, not rely on your yakets. You need a coat. Do I need a puffy one? I want to get a puffy jacket. You don't necessarily need a puffy sign, but you need a coat. I need, I want to be like the Michelin man in New York. Even if you wore the puffiest of jackets, no one would ever think you're the Michelin man. Why not? You're the slender Michelin man. They'd be like, oh, that's, that's pure coat. That's simply not his weight under that pure coat. You need a coat. Okay. You need some shoes that don't have slippy bottoms. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, could be water. The time we're going, probably not going to be snow. October, there late could, October there 28th, Grimmerson Theater. Be, there could be water. Uh -huh. There could be um, just danger. So you need, you don't need to. Oh, kind of like, kind of like 
my type. Like Walmart, like no gr- exactly like, so the no like, slip. Like Long John Silver's works Johns, in the kitchen. You're not even sure if they have laces or not because it's pure black. Pure black. You, you can't see the shoe. And then the last thing you need is you. a good attitude. Not me. I'll be there, Bubba. I do need you. Do you ever feel like you're in a brain pop? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Tim and Moby. You remember brain pop? A brain pop? Yeah. yeah. You never oh, feel like you're you, in a good old brain pop? It's like you just grabbed me and threw me back into my childhood. Yeah. A bro. Brain pop was lit. And the fact that you said both of their names and didn't mess it up. No, I loved it. Brain pop is unbelievable. You, you remember brain pop? Oh my god. I'm still trying to think of that thing that I was trying to tell you two weeks ago. That, how does that help? Because it's, <laughs> how does it, that it has to do. The game that we played on the computers and computer lab where it's like... NFL Rush? Were no, you the punter? No, no, it's no, it's like I remember that. Or th- it's NFL Return, or that was God. Called. That was such. And a you'd have to like dodge him, and oh so it got my. icy at the big levels. God damn, I miss a kid child. Oh, that was s- me. Oh, that was right. so good. No, the game that was like the art, like you no, could take it. It was like, it. Blah, 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 like, on. and you yeah. blew it up at the end. You can. Yes. yes it's uh, a yeah. What is that game? That was just Microsoft Paint. That's all it was. What? That's all it was called. Yeah, it was like Microsoft Paint. No, no, there was a kid version of it, huh? Kid pics! I've been thinking about that for three weeks, dog! Kid pics, kid pics. Oh my! Kid pics! Oh my Wait, god. I don't know what the f kid pics is. My life is complete. Kid- Ashlyn? Kid pics. I don't know kid pics. You don't know kid- Oh, you weren't cool. But kid pics. You don't remember going to- Maybe I do because I said the bomb so, like, thing. So like, you open it up and it's like dark gray and black or whatever and all the things are on the side and you can just randomly create art as a kid. I think so, but I don't oh know the name. Oh my god. This- Oh, ass- Oh, no. I do remember that. Yes. I do remember that. This is what I was trying to tell you. And y'all. then you can blow it up at the end. Have the yes, dynamite. With the dynamite. Yes, yes. Oh my- Kid pics, bro. Oh I got in god. trouble because I drew a penis on it. I drew a penis and I and then I got that tap from my teacher. When you think you're incognito and then they come behind you, you, you get that. I'm gonna need you to log out. <laughs> right then and there, you're like, <laughs> you're like my PS2 is gone. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I had a PS1 so I, I was in eighth grade. I, had a Game Boy. <laughs> I I know I had a Game Boy and a GameCube. Did you ever have a PSP? No, never had. That it. was so ahead of its time. I had a Nintendo DSi and I made myself voice memos and I tried to rap over a milli freestyle that I recorded on the device. You still have it, please. I don't have it. I sold it. <laughs> a milli. It was like a milli. I mean, I was like, yeah, my name is Cam. Did you know every I'm- word? <laughs> yeah. Couldn't say some, but I knew. Every <laughs> word. I knew. I knew every word for a fact. Okay, we we jumped the gun. Bro, kid pics. Oh my god. We I'm jumped so the sorry. gun. We did. The merch is dropped. The merch. It's is all dropped. around us. It's on my chest. It's, it's on his chest. It's on our mannequins. We got That's puzzles, <laughs> puzzle, notebook, blankets, tote bags, swim trunks, swim trunks crop tops, t-shirts, koala club. I mean, there is it's everywhere. It's, it's all over the place. We got tank tops. We got. I mean, it's it's ever tote bags. The blanket is my favorite piece. The blanket. It's so big, so not, soft. I am not one to lie. Okay. Me neither. This blanket is so much softer than what I thought it'd be. It, yeah, we were expecting to put like, it's gonna be a blanket. Like, oh, it's a cool blanket. They're really gonna buy it like for just support and yeah, like- Yeah, our faces and, and on to it. Have, yeah, this is genuinely going to be used in my house. If that was blank, I'd still have that. Yeah, it's, it is, it's like that, it's, it's so soft. Like it's not thick. Like a thick blanket is really good, but this one by all means is not like a paper towel. Yeah. But it's that soft, just like you throw it yeah. over and it's, oh my God, it's it great. just does its job. It's so good. Uh, the swim trunks, probably my favorite piece. Really? Probably my favorite piece. It's so intricate. Shout out to Naomi. So on the swim truck, audio listeners, skip past or go to the video. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, dude, she made these koalas on it. There's a koala in a floaty. There's a koala eating Fruit Loops. There's, there's a koala. There's a suited koala. A there's suited a koala, koala eating an Almond Joy. And then there's a koala chilling on a on a chair. And then the intricate details on the inside pocket. Inside pocket where you can put anything you need or something like yeah, that. You Boom. Should know Still podcasts. says you should know all the koalas. It's so dope. Like unbelievable. It, shout out to Naomi. She she actually like went crazy she on it. these. She hundred percent killed it. Um, I know people are going to be like, it's almost fall. Hey. Bite me. <laughs> you're going to be alive for another year. We yeah. know it. So you're going to have another swimming pool adventure. Buy the damn trunks. All right. <laughs> yeah, go to a hotel, sit in the hot tub at 9.30. And actually, if you're in Koala Club, I wore these last week. 76 Extendo. 76 Extended on Koala Club. Link in the description below if you want to watch. I wore these as normal shorts. And like they and it looks fire. They look yeah. fire and they're comfortable. It has the webbing on the inside, too. So your junk gets. I like when my junk gets cupped. Cup is decent, but like I'm, suffocated, no. 
almost suffocated to where yeah. I know that it's not going nowhere. Can't. I know you're going to stay with my me. My stuff's never going to go anywhere. Well, I'm not you never feel like you might lose one? No. You might cough too hard? Oh, no. I'm like, hoop. I spit. I'm just like, oh. No, no, never. That's what, and, and whenever I wear panties, right? Whenever I buy panties, I'm thinking like I hate a bre I hate a boxer with the, oh, the checkered ones because it always. No boxers elite. Oh no, it's always ducking and dodging and diving. I get that. No, the hole. It always oh yeah, yeah. No, it slips right out. Like peekaboo. Yeah, no. it's, and it gets, why did it cold? <laughs> you're just sitting there walking around. You're just like, ooh. And you look down. You're oh shit. No, boxers are comfy though. I, I love a good boxer. Yeah. You're tripping. I love it. No, I'm only wearing boxer briefs. Boxer briefs will only be worn if I'm going out. In the house though, wife beater boxer. Whew. Dude, you are Great 40. Combo. Great you just combo. Need a, you just need a I just gut. Need, I just need a recliner and beer. <laughs> and then and a gut. And then recliner, and be beer, and like Sunday midday football because I couldn't stay up for the evening game. But and so the merch is dropped. The merch is dropped. Uh, I'm so excited about that. But then where are we going in late October? October 28th. We're going to New York, New York. Gramercy Theater, October 28th. I'm so. New York City, New York. We're going to be there, and hopefully you will be too. I, I'm so excited because, one, it is my first time in New York. It is. You're going to have a fun time. Two, the, the, some of the special guests that are going to be in attendance. It, yes. It's like it's so, like a bucket list thing. Like For me personally, it's like a bucket list thing, and it's making me really nervous, but it should be cool. It's going it to be, be fun. You're going to do great. And then we are working on an after party right now, so there will we be are. an after party. Hopefully. There will be an after party. Y'all can all uh, come there with us afterwards, chill, hang out, have fun. Drink. Be fantastic time. Uh, yeah, we can't wait. It's going to be super, super special. Um, like Peyton said earlier, though, in the intro, not just saying it to say it, there's legit about 100 tickets left. So we want every single one of you to come, but we didn't rent out Madison Square Garden. So and we wouldn't fill even a portion of that out. Yeah, it, it'd be bad if we did. So <laughs> if you want to come, you probably should go get your ticket. That's all I'm going to say. Last time I'm going to say about that. And we got a lot of comments saying, I thought y'all were coming here. Yeah. <coughs> I <just> <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all were I'm coming not gonna lie, down. I did that and a piece of throw up hit the roof of my mouth and it dripped down into the middle of my tongue. And you re-swallowed it. Oh, 100%. What am I supposed to do, spit it? Yeah. Honestly, Cam. Spit it. No, if you just spit threw up right then and there, the episode's over. The whole episode would have been six minutes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you're about to ask me how much to eat your throw up, I'm probably gonna strike you for even for even assuming that's an option. That's all I was gonna say. You know those fans in the summer, right? That are filled with water, and you and they go around. They're like motorized, and you spray them on yourself. You put vomit in the bottle, and you want me to spray your vomit on my face? No, I'm saying I, could I would I literally, I would literally cut your head off with a katana. <laughs> no, you need help. No, something's going on. A collection is. <laughs> You're under attack. I would do that if you drank a sweat cocktail of mine. Oh fuck. Yep. Saw that gag reflex. No, Let me run on a treadmill. No, I was doing that because the stench of my ass. I'm oh. talking about. You. I would do that for free. You, I, I would do that if I had a too hard of a workout. It, you're so raunchy. It's so you're bad. That's your favorite thing about me? No, it's oh no, it's not. Oh God, no, it's not. That scares me every time. That and that leg twitch. Oh uh, no, God, I'm, your legs are small. My legs are not small. Yeah. My legs are not small. No, it's not. Put the hat back on. Okay. Oh my God! No, I'm not going. It lie. was hereby this day that we signed. That's what you look like when you take the hat off. No, but so, you know what? I got my wisdom teeth out this week. There's you so did. much to catch up on. I got my wisdom teeth out finally. Round of applause. No more, for no more. Uh, weakest round of applause you've ever had. Yeah, ever. they do not care about me, and that's what I want to say. That's what I want to say. Oh God. Y'all don't care about me. No one in this studio cares about me. You don't care about me. My parents at home don't care about me. I think my, one of my stitches popped. <laughs> they dissolve. But so, right? Wisdom tooth surgery. I was very anxious about it. I have PTSD from the dentist, you right? I'm, I'm terrified for good reason. I almost, I almost cahooted. Well, no. Yes, I, yes, I did. I was no, in a coma for two days. Yes, I did. No, the stitches don't. popped. Yes, I was. No, Were you there? You didn't even know the story until I told you because you weren't even there as a friend. Was, you didn't even drive hilarious. down to Austin, Texas to be my friend. You don't love me. You don't care about me. Okay. Anyway, so did we know each other? Yes. Okay. So, oh, we did. Yeah, we kissed by then. So, whenever I got the, the teeth out, right, I was fine. Yeah. The day, the day of the surgery, I was fine. Like I didn't even go to sleep when I got home. Yeah, that's crazy. I was knocked. It's because I did. I'm not a legal advisor of uh, f uh, of of FDA or anything nothing like that. Carry. I just drank a shit ton of pineapple juice the day before, like almost a gallon of pineapple I juice wish before. I would have known that. It, it, like literally, I was no swelling. I never swell and uh, like I never swelled. 
What's the word? I never swelled. What's the word? The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by AG1 and Cam. I was so tired of taking so many supplements and wanted a single solution that supports my entire body and covers my nutritional basis every day. Because you know me, Cam. Every single day. I'm, no, you not, need it, I'm no. not responsible. No, you, I, need, you need supplemental health. I can't do. do the pill things, the supplement yeah. things. I forget. I'm, I start mixing them. I'm like, is it Wednesday or Friday? Yeah, are these my night, my morning ones? Yeah. With, you a, need the help. with AG1? All in one. Mm. Just take it, whoop, scoop it, pour it, drink it, swirl it, drink it. I love AG1. Personally, Cam, I drink AG1 in the morning right before I do my little Starbucks just to make sure I'm feeling energized, feeling good, feeling healthy for the rest of the day. AG1 is a lifesaver, and it is delivered to me every single month. month. One of the best things I love about AG1, though, Peyton, Ooh. the flavor. Oh my God! I, I'm Top not gonna, tier. I'm not gonna lie. You 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 were new to mm -hmm. to AG1. Yes. But I've tried other uh, formulas in the past, and they're always they're just chalky. Quark, quark, it's just, you it's know? not the same. AG, AG1 does not need any fillers. Doesn't need anything extra added to it. Literally, scoop water, chug. I'm Gucci. Love it. AG1 was designed with ease in mind, so you can live healthier and better without having to complicate your routine. We all know you need less complication. <laughs> oh God, do we? <laughs> Every scoop of AG1 is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and high quality whole food source ingredients that boost my energy, improve my mood, and even give me healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. Your skin looks amazing. Oh, is that glowing. why you're glowing? Oh, it's glowing. AG1 is a science-driven formulation of vitamins, probiotics, whole food source ingredients that helps you build your health and foundation first. If you want to take ownership of your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Just go to drinkag1.com slash PSH. That's drinkag1.com slash PSH. Check it out and on. To the Rabbit Sea episode. The You Should Know podcast. That might be swelled. Swole. I was never swollen. Okay, you're going to shit your pants. I'm not going to lie. There's, there's going to be poop in your pants. <laughs> I would leave it there till the rest of the episode because I'm a professional. Oh, you're a professional. Sick bastard. Put the hat on. Don't take it off again. <laughs> oh, you and these hats. Matter of fact, you, okay, we're on the wisdom tooth. I called this man maybe two to three times a day for four days straight. He's in his own apartment with just himself. He had a backwards hat on the entire time. I'm starting to be convinced that you're scared of your own hair. You are terrified of what you are. Your naked form of yourself haunts you. No. You, are, you are frightened by your own hair. It's like, who is there to impress? You had a backwards hat on. Like, get rid of the ball cap. Like, you gotta let it go. Get rid of it. You had that hat on for 96 no, hours. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, you need, no, you, no, there's, you know what? There's therapy that needs to be in place. Cause some, something's, you know what it is? That's like your whoopee. That's your security blanket. I don't know what blanket. a whoopee is. It's like a security blanket, a toy, something you sleep with. Yours is a backwards You're hat. my security blanket. You don't want to cuddle anymore. You don't want to put crotch to butt anymore. Spoon. <laughs> crotch to butt spoon. We never did. No, I was never. No, that never happened. What is that little hunching motion? No. Sitting back there haunching. No. No. Get your creepy hands off me. <laughs> yeah, we did. A backwards hat. It, it, there's, there's more to it. No, it, it's this something is what, underlying. No, this is what happened, right? Because I don't trust yeah. anybody. Including in here. yourself. That's my hope. That's the point. You don't. Look, look at yourself. Find the mirror. Look up. You don't like that. And you know you don't. That's why you hide. No, it's because. You need to go bald. But I, when I, I keep it. I'm kind of like a, <laughs> I keep it on my nightstand. I keep my hat on my nightstand just in case. What? Because when y'all call me erratically, and I know if I answer like this, you're gonna be like, "Oh my God, you're a disgusting idiot, loser, skinny, hairy back." <laughs> and then I cry. <laughs> and then I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> no, you you need to go bald. Mr. Clean Bald, start from I, zero. I can't. But, but then I mean, you'll, be, you'll be able... Oh, we would see your reset button. But we'd see the Great Canal. But... Dude, you talk about heads like yours isn't massive. Okay, my head is big, but it's still a normal shape. Okay. Most people that have very large skulls, they're weirdly shaped. I have a normal... You were weirdly shaped until you started working out. No, no, you no, look I, like you did musicals for a living. I, you I, did I, like you did your theater. You look like you did theater. No offense to theater kids. I love you. I love theater. But that's what you look like. You look like you belong in High School Musical 1. Like you're on the ladder with Sharpay. Like that's who you're... Do it all. Do it all. Do it all. No. Uh, can I 
finished defending myself. My, my neck was quite skinny. Yeah, very skinny. You could you could fully choke me with one hand. You like, looked like a bobblehead. Like you it looked was, like you were doing this all day. Oh, that's bad. You sneeze too hard, you pass out. That's, Look. Well. Um. So the reason I keep my keep my hat by my night in my night um, in my on my nightstand, right? Just in case when y'all call me, because when y'all call me, y'all make fun of me and y'all call me names, and it makes me feel bad about myself. So I just put on the hat when y'all call me. That's it. Yeah. Just clean your head. Still, what's the weirdest thing you keep by your nightstand? Because I keep my ball cap because you make me insecure when you randomly FaceTime me. I would say I have a tray of coins, but... What do you do that? If there's loose change in my pocket before I go in for a nightly slumber, I simply put it on that tray. I probably have like $8 in coins. So wait a minute. But... No, no, no. I need to know how your nightly routine works. Because how does the coins in your pocket make it all the way right before you lay down your bed? <laughs> because how does that not make out of it? I'm getting tired. I'm about to get in bed. I'm about to get all the way down to my underwear. Cam doesn't bathe. I take shit... You you go into I, your bed. I am not the person. I am not going to shower. If there is no need for me to shower right before I go to sleep, I take off my outside clothes. No, you don't. You just said that you're going with your outside drawers on. You get in the bed butterball ass naked. I don't sleep naked. Exactly. So you have your drawers on. Yes. Outside drawers. That's your all if day go, drawers. If I go to the gym. No, it's not. Oh, so no. you just change your drawers when you get home. I shower in the middle of the day. You don't. I go to the gym. You don't. So I get back at 2 p.m., shower. It is a very low, even keel day for the rest of the time. I'm not dripping in sweat like you are in your outside drawers. All right? Now, since we want to go there, my underwear are quite clean, and they probably still smell of my fragrance. Yours resemble Louisiana Bayou, so you need to get butt-ass naked. I don't. If there's coins in my pockets... I take my shorts off and I place the coins in the tray. And that's not even the weirdest thing I keep. It's a pocket knife. For pre like, who are you scared of? It's not for protection. <laughs> it is not for protection. What's going on at the Kennedys? <laughs> I keep a pocket knife <laughs> for your toe. For my toe. Yeah. It's it's a it's a it's no it's it's bad. Wait no 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 no. You yeah. have an infected toe. I do one. It's the other nine are, are It's green, pretty. purple, black. It looks like some flag of a foreign country. I would take out the purple, the other three accurate, yeah. <laughs> and it stinks. It smells like rodents. No, it, no it, it used to literally smell like like a science fair. No, like your, toe, your toe smells like the underworld. <laughs> <laughs> like your shit smells awful. Wait. So, why do you have a knife? What do you do with the knife in your toe? Okay, uh... Are you working to cut the toe off? Uh, sometimes, but basically it, it started when I lost the toenail clippers. You know how on toenail clippers they have that little blade that comes out you can kind of dig yes. under and clean? So I lost that. Okay. So I got a knife. I was like, I would never use a kitchen knife. Uh, so I had this pocket knife. And it's it's pretty old and dull, so I just go in there, dig out the gunk, toss it in the trash can. So you bought that to replace the clippers? I already had it. Oh, no, so you got that. You used it to replace the clippers? Yeah, and it's been a part of my nightly routine. How long ago have you lost the clippers? About four years. <laughs> No, if I'm not gonna lie, you've if, been knifing your toe for four years. If I stab someone with that knife, they are immediately necrosis. Like they are, they are, they are, they are poison. Like it's like that. No, that blade is from the Nether portal. Like it has magic with it. If I stab someone with that, their insides become black within 20 so, minutes. Somebody went through their whole high school career, and you still have that knife. Yeah, 100. percent Why did you freshman just get to senior? I'm still blading my. Do toe. You understand? It's not nightly though. It's not nightly. It's probably it's probably bi-weekly. That that knife belongs in Gotham. That oh. shit is a foul knife. <laughs> that knife is a relic. Like that that knife should be mummified and in a museum when our time is over. That that knife is a nuclear weapon. Oh yeah, no that that knife could cause a civil war. Foreign <laughs> countries are scared of that knife. No, I'm, I'm but I'm not John Wick. It's for no protection. If someone broke into my room, what am I gonna throw the knife and it sticks and hurt? No, you the, honestly should now. The but oh I, I, I should start just. You would Just start practicing. a second pandemic if somebody got stabbed. Oh, yeah. No, no, that knife, it could, it honestly it should probably never leave my house. No, no, it, ever. Should, no, it should honestly just get burned. Like, you should, I get, should, like, melt it. You're going to have kids. They oh. shouldn't breed that knife, you. Man. No, it, dude, you, you were right, though. Like, if I get really deep and gunk comes. No, it smells like Baphomet's home. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's tough to be around. Dude, you're a Praise nasty Olivia bastard. For that. Yeah, Liv, you must love him. <laughs> oh, I so do. sweet. Yeah, that, uh, but yeah. That's my knife. Oh, speaking of high school, right? Did mm -hmm. we talk about high school? I said something about high school. Oh, the, the four years. 
The four years. Freshman to senior. I'm not going to lie. We went to a high school recently together because oh, you worked at a high school. I did. And we went back to visit some of your old colleagues, some of your favorite students. Oh, my God. We were, And they, some of them watched the podcast, so I, I came to just say hi. Hate it. High schoolers are my biggest fear. It is, it is a different world. High school is disgustingly different. It, it is like... It, it's like a like a real life GTA Five, like in this high school. It's like Euphoria in there, GTA th- mix. There's crime. <laughs> the, no one is in dress code. There's no dress. There can, That's there, the thing. What happened to dress code? There cannot be a dress code. There cannot be a dress code. There, I see people walking around in just like potato sacks, like burlap. Like there's there, there's more skin than I've ever seen in my life. No, like some of them. It's bad. Some people are dressed like like they're they're going to Miami on a yacht. Oh yeah. Like, where the daddy? Yeah, it's like, hey, you're I'm out here 15. In Miami. Yeah, put it, a shirt on. It is. Oh my God, it's bad. And they're and they all got the they got the the. Oh my God, the, you the think vapes? we're in a casino? Yeah, no, it smells like there's, cigarettes. There's literally cl- just dust clouds everywhere. <laughs> it's like a plane. Oh my God, in I, 1960. Oh my God. Yeah, it's literally like a. They're just like, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> just it is. It is and unbelievable. All in the bathroom. They all just like hot box a bathroom. Oh, I went to no, pee ba- no, and I almost ba- got second hand. The bathroom is hell. In the high schools now, bathroom is hell. There's, there's literally like curses like written on. I'm not talking like curse words. I'm talking about like voodoo on <laughs> like these spells, like spell book witchcraft, like carved into the uh, stalls. There's vape everywhere. There's like cartridges on the so ground. You're 15. It's like just go to biology. Yeah, it's just insane. Learn. And like whenever it's, we were in high school, we had like the main thing. We had fights, right? We had relationship drama. And sports. And sports. And then there's obviously some drug kids. Oh, yeah. But that but, was a selective group. Yeah. It's, that it's wasn't like, cool whenever we were in high school. High school from us to now is like the NBA from like 80s to now. Exactly. There, there used, used to be like, more physical league. <laughs> there, used to, there used to be like one guy that could really shoot threes. Yeah. When we were in high school, there was like one guy that really did drugs. Like he was like, that's him. But now everyone can shoot threes. And now in high and school, every, nowadays, everybody's everyone's doing Everyone's walking around like this. It's like, it's 7.15 in the morning. And you're trying to beat his ass. What is happening? No, they did that at my high school too. And my high school is a little ratchet. But like, fighting at 7 in the morning. I cannot get that angry at 7 in the morning. Couldn't conjure it. I couldn't. I, like, my hands can't go like this. I literally, like, <laughs> oh, man. It's like, I still, I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> like I still feel like if I'm, I'm still digesting eggs. I cannot fight, bro. Yeah, it, it makes me think like, were we lame in high school, no. or is the world evil? Now? No, or I is think it just I think this is lame. I think drugs no, and like I'm I'm not like Saint Patrick over here, but like drugs no, and don't think that was the one you were trying to be Saint Patrick. What are you gonna hit a little heel click and bring out a pot of gold? That might be racist. I don't know if you can say that. Oh, you're Irish and ginger. What? <laughs> he is Irish or ginger. Cam, you're not ginger? I'm not ginger. Holy shit, you're not ginger. I'm Cameron, not ginger. Cam, you gotta let this go. I already... What are you looking at behind me? What are you What are you staring at? Because <laughs> I was just looking at our I'm picture. Not, look how dark my head is right That's, That's a painting! That's look at real. me now! Orange. Cam. No, I'm not orange. No, go back to Leo Skeppy episode 75 or something. When we had Leo Skeppy on and we were actually in a real studio that had high quality 4K cameras. 77. Episode 77, no? That was last week. 76. 76. 76. Look at that video. Have you watched it? You are Bro, orange, it's dog. It's lighting. I already looked it up because okay. so many people. Light my hair. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be red. You could do a different. Th- okay, because your hair's black. Okay, and yours is red. It's not red. I already looked it up. There's a slight reddish tint because that means somewhere in my lineage. Oh my god. Somebody. Oh my god. Was ginger. Oh my god. If you have to. Go- I am if not. You to, if you have to. If you have to Google your your hair tint, that means you're hiding something because you're ginger. I'm not ginger. You're oh. making that up. All right. Don't pity me. If you're not ginger, I'm not six seven. Don't pity me. Maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not that tall today. Who, who? What the hell did you just go through? I don't know. Don't pity me. I don't know who says that. I don't know what land I was just transported to. I'm not quite. <laughs> so don't pity me. I don't know. That's some old shit. That is some old. But no, that's like how old people text. Oh my oh, god. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh. oh no god no. I feel like old people, and this might be oldest or old, old, old against <laughs> oh, like, against age. Yeah, old age is in, in them. Is them. So I don't think at a certain age of Take elderly, away the phone. you should get, give them a landline. You should you should get tested on everything normal civilians get. You should retest your driver's license. You should oh not God. be able to work a phone, or you should be tested on it. Hundred percent. And work a hot stove. 
Like with flames. You shouldn't have you shouldn't have control of open flames. So you're only giving them microwave food. They're, yeah. they're only they eating They can only eat soup and potato they've been eating like me. Bro, I was about to say they're only eating simply ready meals. They've been eating wisdom tooth recovery food. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, but old, the way old people text, it, God, it kills. And my mom, she does it, but she's, I wouldn't classify her as, I mean, Your mom's she's, not old. She's older. She almost has a, she has a 38, 39 year old daughter. So it's like close, but she's not. I don't want to say her age. Yeah, I don't know, but she's not like, she's not, not old, but God, the way she texts, I'll, I'll send like the funniest thing I could possibly find, send it to her. There's six laughing emojis. And she goes, great. So funny, period. And I'm like. I'm like, screw you too. Like, yeah, what did I so do to bland. you? Oh my god! No, and like super old people when they hold their phone up like oh right my. here and they're typing it's like this. The one finger. They're typing like this. It's like, hey, bro. It's like get it's a damn time. jitterbug. It's time to get a jitterbug or a landline. Write an email on a computer. <laughs> on, honest to God, they just need a home phone. If you're out and about, you better be with someone else. Do you remember? Uh, we'll get back to old people. Do you remember home phones? Scariest thing ever because I used to mac on girls. Wait, I'd give them my home phone. If someone else picks it up, and I, no, no. So I would go in my closet, right, and I would hide. Oh, I did that too. But there was a home phone in my mom's room, and she would pick it up, and I heard her ass chewing on the other end. <laughs> she would be listening. <laughs> she didn't trust me with nobody, bro. I, t I used to take the home phone and I'd go in my mom's closet and sit there. Like, why did we do that? What's the closet? That's such a. I don't know. It's like because you were embarrassed, but you weren't. But like yeah. you just didn't want anybody hearing your game yeah. at the time. Like, like I still don't like people hearing my game. Yeah, it's like I used to I, get a sharpie and I got in trouble because I used to write my signature on my uh, bedroom door because I knew I was gonna use it one day. So I, I practiced I, it. I, I I've like, had the same signature since I was a kid. The one I use now. That's that's elite. Yeah. That's tough. I uh, bit a style from I believe Toy Story. The Sid, he had like a sign on his door that was crooked, so I literally got a piece of white copy paper <laughs> and wrote in brown to make it think it was like wood, and I wrote the words jagged, and I wrote knock before entering, and I taped it on the door uh, sideways. No, Liv. probably the lamest thing I've ever done in my Wait, life. Wait, Liv, didn't he still, like, I feel like oh, majority I had that, of college I had that you had that about two sign. years ago. Yeah, okay, that was... Yeah. yeah, no, it was that sign, and that was on there since I was like 11. <laughs> yeah, we'd be like 19 coming in drunk <laughs> to your house, and that sign was. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. gone. No, it's gone. It's definitely. Oh, but gone. speaking of old people, I hate their skin. <laughs> I don't like their skin. Like if I if I flick an old person, it's so thin. Their right arm is done for two weeks. <laughs> it's so. Th oh my god, they bruise like bananas, dog. <laughs> they get so just multicolored. <laughs> it's like oh my god, if you're like like our parents are getting older. Like if my dad's like working on my car or oh, something, oh. he's bound to bruise and bleed. Oh my dad. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> my dad, bro, my dog could just, oh, he can just bark at my dad. This shit will go, he can just start bleeding. If, if my dad even picks up my dog, he's bleeding. If my dad looks at my car for too long, he's bleeding. Like, the old, bro, old people's skin looks like a multi grain bagel. Like, there's so many, there's different, just like splotches. And it's like and a shit. little transparent, too. Yeah, like, like, it's like, you yeah. can, uh, it literally feels like you can go, <laughs> just like ripping. They're made of paper mache. Oh, my. <laughs> like it is insane. Like my grandma, rest in peace. We used to call her grandma legs. <laughs> paper mache. Like they're waking up and just putting. Oh, like, I made in elementary or middle school for a project. I made a paper mache Saddam Hussein. What in the hell it was for, it did was, you just disclose to me? I, I might be, I don't know if we're... Can we say that he's, he's a real person? That is a real and person. And it was for class. Some could argue a historical figure. <laughs> Some could. And I was forced to do it. Like, it wasn't like I was... You it wasn't show and tell. <laughs> I was really like, look at my friend Saddam. It was like, I was telling the story of his, his, his reign of terror. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, and so, oh <laughs> my God! And so that's that's that is easily that's easily probably top five funniest things you've ever told me. Oh, and so I remember it was Coach oh Welch's U.S. history class. Is that U.S. history? Saddam Hussein was he involved at all? He was something to do with our history. I don't. I honestly don't know who he is. I just know oh. he was, he did some things. So I remember I made it in my garage, oh my and then. It was the beginning of the year. It was like a beginning of the year project. And so this is middle school, right? And they're like, we picked from a hat and mine was Saddam Hussein. So I was like, I had to Google him. I was like, damn, this shit crazy. And so I made him in the garage. I gave him a mustache and everything. 
And then, bro, how tall, how tall was he? Was it like <laughs> it, was his, it was his head? It was his head. You made a bust of <laughs> a paper mache <laughs> bust of Saddam Hussein. I'm pretty sure there's a picture somewhere. My parents need to send it to me. There's got to be a picture of Saddam, and we'd have to stand by our bust and talk about Saddam. <laughs> And I remember, this was my weird phase where I'd wear blazers to school. So I wore a green blazer to school with suspenders like hanging off my pants. And you know like those, those the, you know that fabric of shirt when you can go like this and it changes? Like those pillows, you go like that? That was the texture of the blazer I wore to present Saddam Hussein. I can't, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. You were wearing a stripper blazer to talk about it. Oh my god, Cameron. Oh, my pen is wet. Stop. The You Should Know Podcast. We're back with another week of football. Green! What Green 18! Set! Hit! And DraftKings Sportsbook is keeping us in on the NFL action with great offers every single game day. New customers can bet. $5 and get $200 instantly. In what? Instantly in bonus bets. God. Throw five down on any of this week's epic matchups to walk away an instant winner. And DraftKings isn't stopping there. They're not? All customers can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. Woo! Oh, what a time. Football is more fun when you're in on the action. So download the app now and sign up with code YSK. New customers can bet just $5 to get 200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL with code YSK. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccp.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, licensee partner Golden Nugget Lake Charles, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in aunt. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms for eligibility, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven day after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. <laughs> Did you ever have that Tiamachi? I thought you were about to ask if I ever made a paper mache. Sadonis. <laughs> Did you ever have the Tiramaki? What? The Chia thing. Y'all know, what I, I a know chia them pet? had it. No, the little thing in the game thing. And it was like the little animal, and you'd have to give it to somebody else so they could watch it while you're gone. The little digital animal. Oh. Tamagotchi? A digi pet. Well, my, my, I think it had a keychain, but I think I had the big one. That was like a, this a chia pet. No, no, uh, that's where you grow. A digi pet. This is a chia pet. That's a, a digi pet. A Tamagotchi. Yeah, did you have one? My brother killed him and I punched him in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> and then he shot me in the eye with a Nerf gun, <laughs> and then he grabbed you with his foot. Uh, no, shout out to my brother and his feet. Uh, God, <laughs> love you, Preston. Yeah. Holy hell. Preston, Preston, after that live stream, he gained like 100 followers because he was cooking my ass Bro, in that chat. I was cr he was, He's funny as he shit. He was cooking both of us. That was hilarious. Oh, no, he was getting all your shit. Yeah, that was, God, that was funny. No, Preston's though. funny as hell. I think He's if so Preston funny. had like the, like the, uh, like not the nervousness to be on yeah. camera, he would be way more successful than me. All right, we had to. We we were just laughing too hard. We had to come back, Holy hell. break the fourth wall. We had to laugh. I like these swim trunks right now. They're very they're very comfy. You're not putting them on. What are you doing? That's how much I like the merch. To your legs. <laughs> Ew, I, I like my own stench. Oh, I hurt my finger. <laughs> How are we liking them? Those are elite. A little dumpy in the back. Don't know if I can say. <laughs> I got the new shorts on. I had to switch into them. Uh, I'm like a water hose down here. My shit's like coiled up on a hot summer's day. You ever seen a python get scared? Same thing that's going down uh, downstairs. Uh, people that might be confused. <laughs> people that might be confused about the shirt behind you, right? This is not, we're still gonna, we're still the podcast is going on. Everybody shut up. It's a little <laughs> on the chest, too. Oh, 
Yeah, this is my favorite shirt. Even though it has really nothing to do with me, I had a lot of memories in Ronda. Who is Ronda for the new people? Ronda the Honda is my 2007 Honda Pilot with 199,000 miles on her <laughs> with a fake ceiling, fake little screw-in lights. They're not lights. It was like a Rolls Royce. Everyone, everyone thought it was lights. And she, she's a straight-up savage. I mean, straight up. We had so many memories in there. I think this is the first time we've announced that she's gone. She, she's gone. I, ha I have a Red new car. Red Ronda the Honda one time. Thank you. Great Thank memories you. in that car. Great memories. Unbelievable memories in the car. Uh, so that's hence the loving memory because she she is gone. Well, technically she's, she's still, still with us. She's still alive. She hasn't been scrapped yet. But <laughs> for parts. Yeah, she's uh she's gone. So, and I mean, the crazy thing is this is like an exact replica. Like this is that the is car. that's literally Rhonda. But the even crazier part is is that is hand drawn. That is not a picture of Rhonda and just like digitized. Naomi drew that. Again, Naomi's insane. In the description, but she physically drew that. That's ridiculous. In loving memory of Rhonda the Honda. Man, the Great memories. What's oh your What's God. your funniest memory of Rhonda? I think one of the funniest ones was when we were driving, is either to Seminole or back from Seminole. Okay. And we looked over, and it was like. <laughs> He, wasn't he young too? He was a fourteen-year-old driving like with one hand. <laughs> it was like a fourteen-year-old kid driving a car on the interstate with one arm, and it was. We we have the video. It was. We do have the video. Can it put was, it in Patreon. If I can find it, it I have it. No, I know exactly where it's at. Okay, I was gonna say. I think it's in my Snapchat memories from years ago. It sent it to me. Patreon members, if you're in the Quad Club, you'll get to see that video. <laughs> we were crying in the car. That all happened in Rhonda. Uh, uh, another thing about Rhonda. A lot of them I can't say. Uh, her window got busted out and didn't work, so I made a duct tape window and had to drive three hours back home. Swear to God, a minute and 30 into the trip, the duct tape went <laughs> and just flew out. I went a whole three hours, bugs and shit in my face. Oh, it was awful. She's, I, she's fantastic, though. God, she's, I miss her. I, I have a video of my first time in Rhonda. You do? Yeah, it's when we were at Seminole. It was, like our, it was August of like 2018 or something. Mm hmm it was the first time and we went to that gas station that's like right when you pull out of Seminole, you're like you're going to those winding roads, it's on that corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was right there and I got that little ice cream thing in there. And I remember I have a video we were listening oh. to Eminem in the car. Oh, the thing where you, you rip the cap yep. off to put it in the machine. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. I bet if I checked the macros on those, it'd make me shit See, my pants. Dude, what's wrong with you? That's what pisses me off. Hey, what's wrong with you? You try to be healthy and live that's long. That's what I was gonna say at the beginning of the podcast. I don't wanna love No one loves me. That's what I was gonna say at the beginning of the podcast. You gotta stop that. You're gonna shit your I pants. I think there's something in me. Like, there, I think there's like a gas thing. I think it, there's a. That oh, God squeezes. What that, you gonna that, say? that was gonna say. That was gonna sound insane. No. Um, so, no, this is the thing. No one here, there's a lot of people back here, and everybody back here claims to love me. My parents claim to love me. You see how I'm talking to them, and no one's looking at me. Like, no, that's what I'm talking about. No one respects me, no one loves me back here. I've been going through hell this past week because I can't eat. I've been on applesauce, mashed potatoes, Soup. ramen, 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 SpaghettiOs diet, right? Drinking Gatorade, smelling like crust in my bedroom. This, the wisdom teeth have nothing to do with your crust. Your crust stench. No, shower. I don't like. I don't want to shower with my wisdom teeth. I feel like the heat would have expanded my jaws. No, literally, my mom came into my room and she literally tucked the blanket in, like, not in my ass, but, like, under my ass to where, like, no air could get out. You're incredible. I mean, you truly, you are astonishing at this what point. What did I say? You, your mind, it, I'm, it is such a work of art. You are, it is fascinating. Thanks. You, you are just an incredible no, individual. because we were watching Sonic you, Sons. You think you get a surgery in your mouth and you cannot bathe. Yeah. You I think, think the water heat is I, going to expand your bone structure. No, it's not my bones, it's my gums. You said my, you my said jaw, jaw is going to go big. You said your jaw. My jaw gems. My jaw, jaw Jones. My J John Jones bone Jones. <laughs> It's Why do people watch this? Like, honestly, like, what do they get out of it? Like, what do we provide? It's sad because so many people relate with you. It, it frightens me. Yes, because you know what it is? Y'all are liars. You're a liar. Everybody that watches it, you're a liar. Y'all are liars. Everybody lies. Everybody has what I have inside. But they have that thing. No, 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 no. Oh my God, that's gonna get clipped everywhere. You're gonna look insane. You look like you just got out of like a ward. You were like, everyone has what I have in here. They just, they don't let it out. They can't. And I just, I do. 
like that's what you that's look exactly like. right no i have something right that you have oh no i don't <laughs> oh my god no i don't oh you have things i will never have oh um, are you holding my credit card what is what is happening what else is she buying <laughs> for those that don't know lift spent two thousand dollars in, in five minutes. two minutes <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Okay, but this is what I was gonna say, right? Forget my mind. Please, you need to forget it. This is what I was gonna say. So look, right? I've been going through hell this past week. I haven't smelled good, I haven't felt good, and I've been like this. Cause that's, you know when you feel good? You don't feel good, it's like this. No, that's such. No, that's such a real thing, though. You don't feel good. That no, shit's when, gone. like when you're sick. Oh my god! Like, hey, you're like, fuck you. Wake your ass up. Got a pool on that, John. Okay, sorry. You got to stand in sauna. Wake that thing up. Anyway, right? So, I didn't feel good this last week, right? Yeah. I've been eating mashed potatoes. I got holes in my skull. I have PTSD because I've been through traumatic things with my mouth and surgery. Doctors made put flame in my mouth while I was awake. I watched a match go into my throat and then woke up three days later. Imagine that. I was on a an ice diet for a week. And, and, and then I had wisdom in my skull that had to get taken out. So look, I couldn't eat. And I only eat, I eat Whataburger. McDonald's, Chipotle, Starbucks every day. Those are my four meals every day. <laughs> so bad. I haven't even been able to shit because there's nothing in me. And so, and this is what y'all do. Y'all took me to Tropical Smoothie, and I love a Chipotle chicken flatbread. It's my favorite food. It's so good. And y'all ate it in front of me. And then Cam said, I you ate can, that lick, bitch right you can lick my bacon. I ate that bitch right in front of me. My you. parents brought Whataburger into my apartment and sent Cam and Liv pictures of it. This is very true. I was out with these undisclosed names yesterday. We went to In-N-Out and they ate it in front of me. And then we went to where else did we go? Chick-fil-A. Chick and they ate it in front of me. No one respects me. No one. Oh, it is what it is. All right. All right. If Okay. If y'all get y'all's legs cut off in a traumatic incident, I'm signing you up for a marathon. See how that feels. That's not the same. If the, the equivalent would be if we get our legs cut off and you ask us to go watch you run a marathon. Well, we know I couldn't do that. Oh, yeah. You'd be like, damn, this is hard. Honestly? No, you can't. Yes, I could. No, you can't. Without training, I could run a marathon and not be last. I agree. Yes! Yes! The only thing that saved you was the not be last. I Googled how far it would take to walk to the moon. <laughs> it's 200,000 miles away. And by car, that would take five and a half months. By foot, three years. To walk to the moon. What did you? It's 200,000 miles away. It would take five months by car, three years by foot, if I did my calculations correctly. And I didn't do it in Australian time. I don't agree with the second one. Honestly, I would burp you if you let me. <laughs> you would burp me? Yeah. You have As a good if neck. I was an adolescent. You have a good neck to hold. <laughs> I think I have good bone structure. I think your bones frighten me. Somebody commented that when I wear skinny clothes that I look like that thing from SpongeBob in the wheelchair that's saying chocolate. Chocolate! And that hurt my feelings. Oh, but uh, we have, uh, we have uh, Ashlyn and Liv. We do have them. Celebrate Is the merch drop in the live on? show and let's get them on. Well, let's get them on. Auntie Ash, Mama Liv. The You Should Know Podcast. Cam, there's nothing like a great shave. The confidence it brings after you get that one nice oh. stroke and you see the new new you. Oh my god, you're glowing. It's just it's it's just baby smooth. A new shave, new me. No matter why you shave, Harry's has you covered for the best shave of your life at a price you'll love. From their legendary high-quality razors to skin products like exfoliating face wash and hydrating lotion. Harry's gives you a better premium shave without the premium price tag. Get better quality and a better price than other razors when you get Harry's Zilla right to your door. A smooth shave shouldn't be rough on your wallet. That's a fact. You can get a $13 starter set for just three smackaroos. Ooh, wait, say that again? You can get a $13 starter set for just $3 that doesn't at harrys.com slash YSK. It includes a five blade German engineered razor, a weighted handle, foaming shaving gel, and a travel cover for the razor. Jesus Christ, all it for how much? It comes in a beautiful little package. It's so small, right to your doorstep. $13 kit, 
three bucks. Using code YSK. Using code YSK. Scheduled delivery for refills is low as two dollars. Half of what you pay for other blades. Damn. Harry's makes the skincare products that give you the best shave ever. Creams, washes, lotions that will keep your skin looking healthy and hydrated. Blades that stay sharp. Your eighth shave will be as sharp as your first. And if you know a good blade, that's impressive. That's actually really impressive. That's very <laughs> impressive. Sleek, ergonomic weighted handles that look great in your bathroom and give you precise control with every single swipe. There's no reason not to try Harry's. Harry's is offering a no risk trial. Don't like your shave, no worries. It's on them. Harry. He's killing it. Get your best shave ever this summer with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash YSK. That's harrys.com slash YSK for a $3 starter set. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got we it. Got it. Got it. Mama, 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 Mama. First of all, we're all rocking that brand new merch. You can find it in the description box below. You should know studios.com backslash shop. How are y'all doing? We're doing it's good. Great. It's a great day. It is a great day. Uh, no, 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 it's not. I have to talk about something. We have to address something right now. Oh my, oh my God, do we? Oh, it's with this one right here. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't point like that. Oh no, it is, it is this one. This sickest thing ever. What time did I tell you to come in here today? And what time is that? It's there's nothing to think there's about. No debate. There's, there's nothing, nothing to, to there's nothing to ponder on. There's no uh, 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 no, noon. What time is noon? Yes, good country bumpkin. What time noon is? They're gonna say like 11, 11:30. Okay, no, two, two, but two things. But there's there's two very interesting things. One, it doesn't change for anyone, and you're not a country bumpkin. You're not. I don't know. What, you you're might not, be. You're not a country bumpkin. You don't know that. No, we do. We no, know. It's, it's fact. It's fact. <laughs> No, no. You, so, okay, what's? She's insane too. No, she's crazy. So why, why are you saying noon can be different times, Ashlyn? Like I'm, I want. Yeah, what I, does like, that mean? When did you learn when noon was? Who said? Who said noon is at this time? Who it's universal. Who said that? Who said what, that? Who said what that? time did you learn what what what? Time three o'clock is. Well, no. What time did you learn what midnight was? Like when did you learn that? In school, they went through the clock and they said midnight. They didn't. And they left out noon. They did. No, they didn't. They did. Ashlyn, no, I love you to death, girlfriend. But you I taught. You taught your students noon. I taught my students. I was a first grade teacher, and, and like noon? on on you their things, noon? I did say. What time I said twelve o'clock. I don't. I didn't specifically say noon. Exactly. I didn't use the exactly. term noon. But no. Noon. Okay. But it's not like noon's it's not a noon. interpretation. It's noon? not noon, noon is noon. But what is noon? It's no, twelve. It's noon. It's noon. It's noon. Twelve. It says who? Earth, everybody! Okay, who, okay, look it up. Nobody, look it up. No, it, up there's there's no need her to look it up. It's, listen, I guarantee listen, you it's going to say noon listen, is midday no, at 12 no, p.m. is noon. noon. Noon just confuses me because nobody tells you what time noon is. It's just like, Where did you grow up? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. uh, Texas. Ben, ben, ben Texas. So you never catch a bucket. So, 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 so <laughs> if somebody were like, if you're having a meeting and they're like, let's go grab lunch at noon you'd be like i would specify you'd what be like time? is that 1 30 that's insane work that's exactly what i did in our text what's the first what's Ooh. the first thing that pops into your mind when you hear noon like what 11. whoa oh my god oh, ashlyn <laughs> ashlyn ashlyn 11, 11 30. okay but here let me stop you right here there's no th olivia there's Nothing. no buzz. but i understand where she's coming from no, no, no you don't i'm honestly looking back trying to sit here and think about it as y'all are nobody bantering back and nobody no does. one has ever taught you noon honestly think about it when did someone sit you down and say hey cameron this is noon they don't they only do it with midnight so noon is up for interpretation okay no one's ever sat me down and be like this is what midnight is it's just you just a learned it's thing. midnight it's when midnight you learn what midnight is when you stay up too late and you also learn it oh in school, God. but they don't teach that with noon. Yes, they do, because lunch is okay. at noon. So you think, yeah, no. you th class is at noon. No, they have A, B, C, and D lunch. And you know what time it is. It's not just A at time, right. B time. They don't say B <laughs> lunch is at noon. Yes, they, oh, yes, they do. That's exactly yeah, how that's you know where to go. <laughs> on, on the schedule, it doesn't say noon. Yes, yes it, it does. <laughs> okay, so you're telling me you no, could walk no, on the street. No, it doesn't say noon. No, she's, saying, doesn't. she's saying it's going to no, say 12. It it says 12. So, okay, you I mean to tell me, if is. I told you, if I literally sent a text and I said, okay, you need to be, if I sent, I think I felt things fall off. <laughs> I if saw I it. send you a text, <laughs> if I send you a text and I said, there's a million dollars in a briefcase under this tree, you have to grab the suitcase at noon and there's no more communication after you get that text. What time are you showing up to the damn tree? 
Oh my God! And you're gonna miss a million. You're gonna miss a million dollars because of your pride. I would, I would stay there because I, I just don't know what time. It's I, I, I noon. There's a no Ashton, noon. if what I said if noon? I said you have to come get this, you what have to come get this noon? shot at two p.m. What? What? You're not gonna question That's that. Two p.m. That's not noon. Noon is noon. Exactly. Two p.m. is two p.m. Ashton, what do you think afternoon means? After noon. It's in the afternoon. Afternoon. Okay, no, babe, stop right there. Afternoon can mean a lot of things. No, it doesn't. After after the time noon. I think afternoon's like 3 p.m. It is. is. Jesus Christ. We're saying the breakdown of the word. The breakdown of the word. The breakdown of the word. After After meaning post. So noon. Post noon. 12. Noon means 12. Who says that? The world. Ashlyn. Ashlyn. Show me. Who said that? Who invented noon? Who? Ash, it's that is not, true. Who so invented one p.m.? God, I don't know. Who, tell me who made the 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 what? Tell me who gave you the lesson on midnight. My who invented teacher. midnight? Ms. Since Mac- you're so <laughs> oh, oh, your teacher, Miss Mackie, invented midnight. <laughs> okay, think about this though. If you're walking on the street and you're like, okay, uh, do you know what noon is? Do you think? 99% of people yeah, are going to say yes. I, th- I, I I would literally venture to say 100 out of 100. If I walked outside of our studio and I pulled 100 <laughs> human beings, 100 of them are going to say it's 12. I don't, I don't no know. No one else is going to go. It's actually like, that's law. Like, that's law. That's but, not who, like, a, law? It's not like a folklore. It's okay, law. Her, listen to this. The first time we, like, talked about it in the group message when we said, hey, Ashlyn Noon, were you very, like, thrown off? Like, did you even know what the term oh, Noon I was? was? That's why. <laughs> So she's never even heard it. So it hasn't been exposed to her. No, it has. No, it has. No, it has. Every time I hear noon, it just, I get anxious about it because I don't know. What is happening? I don't know what time. Noon. That's what time it is. I saw the message and I was like. Okay, so she needs more detail. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's exact. It's exact. Four letters in one time. Okay. Noon. N-O-O-N, 12 p.m. Noon. It wasn't taught to me like that. I don't know. I feel like noon is very up for interpretation. Okay, well. It's not, it's not though. It's not though. In our messages, I said, so like. 11, 11.30 or like 12, 12.31. What time is noon? The fact that you gave a two and a half hour window <laughs> for the I, word I, noon I is like, madness. No, that is criminal. It is madness. Okay, if afternoon gets that much of a time frame, why doesn't noon? Because af- all afternoon, afternoon means is afternoon, after noon, after that time. After. So what time is morning? That's the, th- it's not noon. What time Morning's morning? not an exact time. What? It's everything so it's before 12, time, before okay. noon. Okay, noon is a term. It's not specifically a time. No, it's not. No, it's a term. Noon is It's noon. a term, just like morning's a term. Okay, like, okay. Like okay. 12, 12 is a number, one is a number, three is a number. Half. Two o'clock, half. two o'clock, two half. o'clock is. Half, half is a term, right? Listen to me. Half listen. is a term. Half what can is, mean a lot of things. What's half of eight? Time. Four. Almost said two. What's half a ten? Five. Half is a term, but it's it means half of something. It means something. That's a fact. So it's, it's a, a term. term, but it means an exact thing. It means thing. an exact thing, though. It okay. holds one. Okay. It is a term that holds one thing. Can I I've never seen you so red. Can, 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 can I, can <sighs> yes, go ahead. This is madness. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Listen. So let me ask you this very important question: What time is morning? What from what time to what time is morning? That's not a set time. No, it's I'm asking. Morning what time is not is a set morning? time. Morning is not a set. That's the answer. It's not, it's not. It's not a set. What time is the afternoon? It's anything not a set time. 12. It's after anything twelve. After you just said. You just said it's any time after twelve. Any time after twelve. Because after noon, the time of twelve. So morning after twelve. Morning, morning twelve. Is what? Morning could be anything before twelve. So what is afternoon? After twelve. After twelve. After noon. Let's break noon it down. Is 12. Let's break it down. After meaning post okay. meaning prior. Noon no, prior. meaning twelve. Prior not before. prior. Post. <laughs> post. But afternoon, after, afternoon could be different to multiple people. It is! Afternoon it is, is after, different! After, after so everything time. else is Holy as shit. well. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, after... No, listen, no. Listen, no. Listen, 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 listen to you. Noon is from... L- listen to me. <laughs> oh, just shut your mouth. Ma- oh, just shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me, Ashley. 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 No, no, Ashley. No, 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 no. Everybody be quiet because I I might bleed. Listen. <laughs> my, I think hurt. my penis is going to fall off. Uh, listen. <laughs> noon, right? Noon. Yes. Noon slash 12 because it's the same thing. Just listen. Noon slash 12. After noon slash twelve, get it? Because noon and twelve are interchangeable. Yeah, what the noon, fuck? Noon, the <laughs> word noon, too much. the word noon is interchangeable with twelve. What? Noon is twelve. Twelve is noon. Twelve noon is, noon. is there twelve. Definitions of each other. Yes. Show me. The literal definition of noon is twelve, 12 p.m. What's the definition of twelve p.m.? Noon. There's no definite. What's the definition said, of eight thirty? Said they're interchangeable. They are. There we go. What's the definition of two p.m.? There's not one. Two p.m. Okay. There's not. Okay. okay. There you go. You just caught yourself. You just caught yourself in a lie because you. 
I it's, got y'all. No, it's because no, you did it. No, it's a big you increment. Said, you said noon is 12. It has a definition. What's 2, it's what's two p.m.? We, definition. we said cool. noon. The definition of noon that, is 12 p.m. You said? just, you. You're wrong. You asked you're us wrong. what the definition of 2 you're is. Wrong. We, you asked us what the definition of 2 is. There's no definition of 2 p.m. There's not. Listen. Noon's definition is 12 p.m. I just don't But then you me. said 12's definition is noon. No. Yes, listen, you did. Listen, Peyton listen, just said that. Listen, I said what He time? said they're interchangeable. They're interchangeable. That's why after noon is after 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Get it? So afternoon's up for interpretation. It, no, it's everything after 12. Yeah, Any, everything after anything 12. after 12 is in the afternoon. But when you tell someone, hey, be there in the afternoon. There's not a set time. That's, it's that's anything su after 12. That's super vague. That's if you vague. tell someone, be there at noon, it's 12 p.m. Yes. Be there in the afternoon. That's after that's, 12. That's, that's, that's vague. vague. Be there in the morning, just like you said earlier. It's that's vague. vague. Be there at night. Vague. vague. Noon, noon be there vague. at midnight, it's fucking 12 a.m. Exactly. Be there at noon, noon, it's 12. Oh, my God, I got him. <laughs> No, everybody knows. I'm gonna kiss you in the mouth. Everybody knows what midnight is. Not everybody knows what noon is. Noon is Ashlyn. Not listen to me. Hold on. I'm gonna end this right now. We can go to the next. Topic. Oh my I said, god. I googled. I just don't believe you. Google. What time is noon? Mm -hmm. Noon means midday or 12 o'clock. So if midnight you, refers to 12 o'clock at night. If you ask someone what midday is, what would they say midday is? The middle, the middle of, the day. of the day. That's vague. It, it says it said it could be or do y'all not understand? No, no, We're it didn't say noon. or. No, up, it didn't say up, or. It said up. noon is midday or twelve. The what is the midday. middle of the day? It says, twelve. No, what is the wait, middle of the day? Twenty-four. It said, <laughs> it, said, it, said, it said midday or twelve. So midday is up for interpretation. Mid. What is the middle of twenty-four? I'm done. What's the middle of twenty-four? Can I, can I Matter of fact, back to half. What's half of twenty-four? Twelve. Twelve. What's interesting? The, that wasn't so hard for you, yet noon is a fu it's comp it's perplexing your mind. Hey, but the they thing is, but the thing noon, is, if, if she what? was never exposed to it, no one has ever told her People what noon is. Noon How life. like that can be anything I, to I her. I just refuse that to believe you have not been in an establishment no. where There's, noon is not said. That's, People have that's, said noon all the time, but I always ask because I don't I want to make sure. Well now you know Simpleton. Some people say Different things other than twelve. Yeah, those if people belong in prison. 12, no, they they're rotting in hell. Should, those people are if rotting they want in hell. Noon to be twelve, they should just call it half. In the story, it's from like here on out, just say twelve o'clock. Half day. Twelve o'clock. Y'all make me itch. Half day should be noon. It's, Fuck noon. That's <laughs> literally what. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Midday. Mid meaning middle. Day meaning the day. It's up for How interpretation. Many? Just like How many days. hours are in a day? 24. Right. What is the mid you, of 24? 12. <laughs> She's, I hear you, but you're wrong. All right. Not, yeah, 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 whatever. Unbelievable. We're going to save, okay. save that we one. Unbelievable. We got him. Girl, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. The You Should Know Podcast. Okay, this episode is brought to you by More Labs, and you know, I'm getting older. I'm, I'm pushing 25. I'm damn near 30. <laughs> you're, you're going on 60. <laughs> you're back in college. We could have fun oh, more. Lord. We could, we could, We could go out longer, do more things. Wake up the next morning, feel fine. Not at this age, Cam. I can't do it anymore. But thank God for More Labs. Yes. More Labs created this nifty lifesaver of a drink called Morning Recovery Woo! that helps prevent rough mornings after drinking. Similar drinks have existed in Korea for a long time. I didn't know that. Very long time. But there were no options like it in the U.S. that worked. So their founder quit their job at Tesla to fix and create morning recovery. Oh, I love a good story behind a great product. All you have to do is drink one morning recovery while you drink or before you go to bed. It contains super herbs, vitamins, and minerals that help you bounce back and a proprietary blend of electrolytes to rehydrate you. So you can have a fun night and feel good the next day, feel like a real human like you did when you were 21. Oh, I miss those days. See, because we, we can't just drink and hop up and be at an 8 a.m. basketball practice. <laughs> those were sick we days. Two old fashions in, and I'm just like, what's going on? Like, is, is it Thursday? My is Sunday is cut. Yeah, no, it's bad. Not anymore, though. They conducted a clinical study, and users of morning recovery felt up to 80% better than those without morning recovery across various symptoms after drinking. So it works. Oh, it works very good. We want you guys in on the action, so go to morelabs.com and use code YSK for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. That's morelabs.com and use code YSK for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. All right, they're very wrong, but it's all right. That's, um, that's sickening. This is why I know y'all. I know y'all love having them on. Y'all love hearing this, but it literally takes years off of my life. Off of my life. I'm um, making you younger. Excuse me. <laughs> no, you're sending me to my grave. <laughs> but I think it's time for people's 
favorite segment. segment. You know what that is? Pop, Pop culture, pain and camp. Pop culture, pain and camp. Woo! What do you got for pop culture? I don't know what's happening in the world. I've been in bed rest. I have I have a decent I have a decent thing. Okay. We're gonna go music for this this time around. Oh Drake. Uh slime you out. Slime on you, slime you out. Slime on slime you out, I think it slime is. Slime you out. It's a good song. He's Whatever. talking his shit him on that. Him and SZA slime you out. Slime Boy, you out. Uh shit. Drake dropped a pre release track off of For All the Dogs. Very good Delete featuring single. SZA. Uh, very good song. Can't wait for the album. And then Rodarius. Rodarius is back in action. Rod, Rod, Rod Wave. Wave. He dropped an album. I I really enjoy Rod Wave's music, but I mean, a lot of people can say this about artists that they're not just diehard stands. And someone's gonna try to argue me, but it's like, if you're being real with yourself, Rod Wave has made essentially three or four of the same album. Every album sounds the exact same. Y'all can say that about any no, artist. No, you can't. No, you can't. Country music. No, you can't. I love country music. I mean, country music is closer, but country like, music is closer. Was, but why? If if his albums have done so well, why? why no, I'm not saying exactly. I'm, I'm just saying, saying as a as a listener, yeah, as a listener, it's like it's I could literally probably turn on a song. And be like, it's gonna sound like this. There's gonna be this type of melody, and that's yeah. gonna be that. It's just the same every time. Which, if it works, don't stop yeah. it. But it's not broke. It's not broke. Don't fix it. I still but. listen to the album. I, I still, I still like Rod Wave. But I'm saying it's just like I'm a big Rod Wave fan. I'm, I'm less excited for it now because you I've got it. three years of the same. You know, there is hit songs that are fantastic, but I know exactly what it's gonna Rod be. Rod Wave sells a lot of tickets, which is crazy. Like he sells a lot, like arenas. Which his I shows are good. Yeah, I've but heard. I feel like if he got out of his comfort bubble of mm -hmm. that making the same song, he would be one of the biggest artists ever. Because he's so talented, but he just keeps Maybe he's just in. waiting. Like he's, like he's, Drake. He's, like Drake. He makes Drake every has, Drake song. has given timeless, like masterpiece albums. Yeah. Then he did more of a certified lover boy. You know, he had his da -da -da, like his uh appealing to the to the boys doing some slow songs whatever and then he said all right bet boom a whole house music album it was so good too. whole house music he's never done that and he did not, he didn't do like a song or a ep an album. he did an entire studio album of a complete different genre everyone clowned him for it and then in two weeks number one album in the world yeah it's like that's that's how you literally transcend I'm not into the music and you keep industry. growing. Like I am, but I'm not. Like I can listen to Taylor Swift all day and I'll be straight. Mm, I'm love Taylor. To, I'm not saying nothing. I love her. Taylor's Taylor Swift. What is why do you phenomenal. do this? Peyton? Yeah, she's great. Why do you do this? I love her. She's the best. I like this podcast. I like keeping it. I love Taylor Swift. She's the best. <laughs> <laughs> she's the great. She is though. Are you talking about the I know what are you you're doing, but Travis she is Kelsey she is thing? a goat. Travis Kelsey thing? I heard something about it. Yeah, what? about how Travis Kelsey, like him and Taylor Swift, were like trying to date, or someone said no to That's each other. Her. Travis Kelsey, that it's he's a majestic. That's a beautiful man. He is majestic. You're not a Travis Kelsey fan? I said good for her. Oh, Tra same. Travis oh, Kelsey. Oh, good for her, like saying like okay, okay. I didn't okay. think that was Travis Kelsey's flavor. I'm not gonna lie, not me neither. Lie. But no. uh, he likes him his flavor. queen, oh, some black woman. But you know, it didn't go right, so he's gonna try something different. That's Travis Kelsey makes me blush. What? What, what did, did you, you just say? No, there's something behind you actually, and I was just looking at it and admiring it. Travis Kelsey makes me blush. Uh, that's crazy. That's he an insane thing to say, but he's crazy. majestic. I mean, you know uh, this can podcast, we switch the topic? You know this is a top twenty podcast, right? Can we switch the topic? So he might hear that. And if he does, literally fly me out to Kansas. City. <laughs> 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 no, basically, I want to get like a nice little taper with the buzz. I'm afraid my head's a tad bit too big, but I. I I would admire to look like Travis. Why don't you grow this part of your, your beard? Barber. What part? Your barber. This yes. part? No, I'm about to get. I'm Let about to get a guard, and I'm gonna take all this down to this, to where it's all the same length. I think it'll look good. It, it's big. It, it's it's enough where you can grow out. Because Ooh, let's talk about. No, um, right there. That won't mine, connect. Mine What's her name? A uh, creepy down. demon album. Doja Cat. Oh, uh, uh, no, we're not talking about. No, that we're not doing that. I love Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Never mind. All right. Um, I think there's something else I wanted to talk about. I, I did the music. It was there anything culture. crazy that happened this week? Was there any uh, live show? Oh uh, yeah, let's talk about the live show. Let's promote that a little bit. We're all gonna, That's we're all gonna be there. So Auntie all gang Ash is in New York. The whole gang is in New York. Auntie Ash is going to be there she this there time the around. Show, so y'all can come. come if up you want to take pictures. flicks with Auntie Ashlyn, she's been on ten minute talks. She's been in vlogs. She's been on full length. She's been here the whole time. She's been working hard too though, she so she's missed a, a couple. Than a lion. But. She's a working woman, but she's gonna be there in New York. Yes. So is Sanjin. He's been Sanjin's a couple. Uh, gonna be, Ryan's and gonna be Ryan. there. Oh yes. my, the whole gang. Whole gang. Whole gang's gonna be there. Um, oh, uh, Lolly's gonna be there. You will hear oh her ass God. in the damn crowd. You're gonna hear, you're gonna hear this right here. <clears throat> yeah. 
Like this yes! woman's yelling behind me. But the whole gang's gonna be there. It's gonna be very uh, awesome to have everybody there. Time. But uh, this is what I was gonna say. If you have been to the other shows, okay, I know we've prefaced this before. Yes. So you know how Drake is on tour right now, or comedians are on tour, and they're not gonna change what they do from city to city. It's gonna be the same show, obviously. Like if you went to the Dallas show, it's gonna be the same show, uh, like structure-wise. But we're gonna make different things. We made some adjustments. Just here and there, so yeah. But just, I don't want y'all to buy a ticket to this next show and, and then get there Expecting and Expecting like, something completely different. It's the same thing. Cause we were, this is practice. It's we like, wanted to make it good for y'all. You perfect the show and then you go and show it to multiple places. Yes. Same, yeah. same, I mean, Drake's gonna give you the same set list. Mm -hmm. Like if you went to a Dallas Drake and then you go to Atlanta Drake, you're hearing the same songs. He might have a little different joke because this is Atlanta. He might bring a different they guest don't even out. Change the jokes. But it's, I mean, it's the exact same thing. Yes. So if you went to the first one, first ever live show in Dallas, you can still come if you want, but we're just telling you two things. We one, want you to come. It's going to be the same show. Two, do not spoil it for anyone else. Thank you. That's it. I don't know why I said thank you. I said, <laughs> you said thank, thank you. you. Thank you. If you uh, come to the after party, we could take shots together. We do do that there at you the go. after party. We do do, we do do the at the party. I like the tequila. At the party. This is Cam. Cam had a hard time saying no, so he had a rough night. Oh the my. first after party. Y'all yeah. were y'all were just y'all were blessing us, this. hanging out with us, and there was a lot of shots that came I my think, way. And I was more reserved the first after party. I think New York is going to give us an energy where I'm not going to be too reserved at the second whoop, after party. Whoop we're gonna be going crazy, and with the special guests we have that are coming, oh yeah, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna we're be gonna a star-studded. Like, yeah, we're gonna be like 50 deep. Oh yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be insane. It's um, gonna be dope. Also for uh, New York, I don't think this is my challenge to the New York crowd. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're gonna be able to beat the Dallas crowd. Oh, Dallas no. crowd was cr it was it's crazy. It was so loud. It was crazy. It was like like there's they were loud in the line to get in. Yeah, they the wrapped, line was around, wrapped around. Oh, wrapped around. Outside. So New York. I know y'all are cool in New York, you know what I mean? Y'all like, you heard? Uh, you know, a bodega, bacon, egg, and cheese, you heard? A bacon, egg, and cheese. I want y'all, like, at a You Should Know show, I want all the cool shit to go away. I don't yeah. want anybody to feel cool. We're a big, happy, weird-ass family, family in yeah. one roof, and we're going to laugh, we're going to be loud, we're going to drink if you can and if you want, and uh, we're going to take that night to forget about anything we have in the real world, and we're going to have fun. So be loud, yes. have fun. And even if you come alone, it's not going to feel like you're alone, I no. promise you. You're going to have a big old family there. All right, I love you guys. I can't wait to see y'all in New York. And for y'all to be seeing y'all rock the new merch that's available right now, you should know studios.com backslash shop. Cam, tell them what they can get on the Patreon this week. Patreon this week. So you all know and love and you've always loved 10 Minute Talks to Mama Live. She hit a milestone this week, and there is 10 Minute Talks episode 30, Woo! which is an hour-long episode featuring the whole gang. We're sitting there talking about deep questions, going into relationships, having so some good. funny laughs. We even did a draft. It's a whole hour of us hosted by none other than Mama Live herself. 10 Minute Talks episode 30 is going to be on there. Uh, we're going to shoot an extended as well, so that'll be on there. They're going to get a lot this week on Patreon. It's going to be linked in the description. And there's going to be some other things that you will hear about on Patreon, but you got to be there to hear about it. So, bada bing, bada boom. And uh, sign up to, because there's some things in the merch drop that he didn't make it to the final cut. So, I'm not saying anytime soon, but be in the Patreon and y'all might get access to that in the near future. Yes. Just saying. Just saying. And I... What's the secret code for today? All right, the secret code for today <laughs> is... New. Nope. No. It is... No. <laughs> M-I-L. Mill. You know what Mill stands for? Merch is live. Merch is live, open, available right now. Merch is live, baby. Put Mill everywhere. Put it on Instagram posts. Put it on Instagram stories. Put it on... The comments. I love the Usual Podcast. Just put it on Peyton's you look like you're bare that chest. Little, that little boy off the dinosaur movie when he's like following his dinosaur around. Oh, the good dinosaur? That's what you look like. You look like <laughs> she just oh. said she said you look like a primal kid. Do you remember that dinosaur movie, The Lamb Before Time? I cried because they all died. I cried at Garfield when the dog got lost and ran away. I cried at Marley and me with my grandma. Marley and me, everyone should cry. If you don't, you're not you don't have a soul. Oh, can I say something? Sure. I don't know if I can say this. I just want to say, can I rest a piece of Dusty one time no, on the podcast? I, I, I want to give a shout out to Oh, him. yeah, we can. I want to give a shout out to my man Dusty, Dusty one time. Shout out to Dusty. Shout out to Dusty, yes. That, that was my skitter. That was uh, <laughs> my beloved dog, my mom and dad's dog uh, since I was in like fifth grade. He just recently passed. They had to put him down this past week. So, yes. He lived a great, uh, cool life. In the comments, if you want to, put either RIP Dusty or put... Uh, Send in love, prayers, whatever you want to, to Mama Lisa, Papa Mike, whatever. But yes, that was their baby just as much as me. 
But yes, he did get a Hershey's kiss right before he Aww. went down. So oh, that's a great way to Every go. dog yes. deserves to taste chocolate before they have to go because they can't have it while they're alive. Oh, they can't? No, no. Uh, chocolate's no. very good. I've been feeding Malcolm Hershey since Oh, I thought you were about to say you were feeding Ruby Hershey. You better say I'll smack you. But we love every single one of you. Fantastic episode. We Great. can't wait to Fantastic. see the pictures and the posts from merch and live show. Tag us and everything. We can't wait to see all that. We Guys, love you. We love you so much. And remember, one I take longer is I'll make home to Christmas. Y'all got a shoe flip? I can't flip oh, one. There you go. Just get it, right. get it resting on your heel. Like this, just super loose. Okay. CJ, and keep all this in. We're having a great time. I'm cold. It feels cold in here. Okay. I, to I said that. But I like it, though. It feels fantastic. Get a puzzle. I want to see the first person to complete a puzzle. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's yes. that offer still stands. Well, Koala Club saw it. First person to purchase a puzzle and complete it and tag us and post it, you're going to get all the love, re repost, shout outs, outs everything. And don't go. Don't hire a professional puzzle maker. Either. Yeah, if you, if you find if you, out, if you hire a, pu a puzzle, no, if you hire, if, if you hire a puzzle maker on the fava, okay. I want to get naked and kiss Cam. That's All it. Right, Please remember, get us out of here. When I take lovers, don't be home to Christmas. I don't know how to do that. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really and, we'll and we'll see, see you <laughs> in the next one. Uh, What'd you say? What's that? I didn't even hear you. See you October 28th. Mama Liz. Mama Liz. <laughs>